Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Love is a drug that's capable of giving us the necessary strength to achieve everything we set out to do. The protagonist of the video that we leave you you knew very well when he worked very hard for months to give an emotional surprise to his girl on his girlfriend's day. There were two friends who loved physics from an early age, so they decided to enroll in the Faculty of Chemistry and Atomic Sciences, and they began to study hard because they wanted to become chemists. The level of the two students was very high as they were competing with the professors who taught them at the university. The two young people spent five years at the university, and they kept up nights in the university residency while they were studying, as they read many books and solved many complex problems. And after five years had passed, they graduated from the university and obtained red certificates with excellent grades, but they couldn't find a job. In 1991, the security situation in Russia was unstable. Chaos spread, and bribery and favoritism dominated employment. So, the two young people found themselves without work and decided to look for work outside their field of study in order to earn money. They didn't give up and began to work in the field of construction, and they showed extraordinary capabilities that surprised all those who worked with them, as they designed advancing building structures and repair machines that break down in the workshop. This made them earn money, and they were able to rent an apartment to live in and save money to start their project, which they have been planning for a while. After three years, the pair managed to open a large shop for repairing electrical machines such as cameras, televisions, refrigerators, and other devices. The two young men worked together for a full six years and were able to bring in a large number of customers because they do their work for a fee that's affordable to everyone. The two were never relaxed, they even worked on the weekends, and they didn't have time to meet young women. So they were thinking of going out and all they were focusing on was developing their business. The partners were able to enjoy a large center for selling and repairing electrical home appliances, and they were able to employ a large number of workers in their small company. The company, which contains 22 employees, is important in selling laptop computers from foreign countries, just as other advanced devices are important. As the two young men were running the company and developing some programs, they were striving for their company to expand and become global. After the pair achieved the success they were dreaming of, they each bought a beautiful apartment and furnished it, and decided to marry even though they were too late in age. In the year 2000, they had a joint marriage ceremony and married two young women who they found suitable and they each had two sons. One of them gave birth to a child named Stas and the other gave birth to a daughter named Yulia. The children, who were born in the same month and year, walked the path of their parents as they were close friends and studied in one department. This made their parents think about marrying them together, and they considered them engaged. Stas loved basketball, so he joined the school team. Well, Yulia got involved in the gymnastics team, and they stayed together until they grew up and both of them passed final exams. Stas studied at the University of Greenwich in London in England, where he became fluent in English and continued to practice his hobby in basketball. As for Yulia, she chose Switzerland. She studied at the College of Art and Design. And at the same time, she was able to study both English and French and became fluent in them as well. When the two young people returned to their country to spend the summer vacation, they found that their parents had prepared for them a surprise. Where they built a luxurious house of wood in one of the quiet villages near the city so that they can spend their holidays there and enjoy the beauty of nature. The house was located near a small forest with a beautiful lake. The residents were few in that village and they were kind so it was very suitable for living and enjoying comfort. The parents used to think that gathering the two in one place would strengthen their relationship and make them think about marriage. But in truth, the pair were not thinking about this, as each one of them is thinking about marriage and stability in the country in which they study. They treated each other like only close friends, and they had no emotional attraction. In those days, the two spent with each other. They noticed that they got along and shared many ideas. As they began to spend the whole day with each other and talk about their studies and their dreams, their relationship grew stronger than ever and they bonded together. One day, the pair went out together to the lake, which is located in the forest near the house in which they're staying. They were remaining sitting by the edge, pure and clear lake, and suddenly 
Stas offered Yulia to go in and swim in the lake, but Yulia said that she couldn't swim. Stas removed his clothes and entered to swim in the lake, and when Yulia saw him, she felt a strange sensation attracting her towards him, and she immediately stood up, then undressed her clothes and jumped in the water to swim. But she didn't think that the place where she jumped was deep, and she found herself unable to stand on her feet and started screaming. When he approached her, laughing, and grabbed her from under her arms, then pushed her towards the shore and then helped her get out of the lake. The moment Stas held the girl in his arms, he felt that she was a part of him, as he took advantage of the situation to cuddle her and pretend that it was, you know, just part of the job he was doing. The pair didn't think that they were related to each other to such a degree, and they remained sitting together in the lake, exchanging jokes and laughing at length. When the vacation ended, Stas and Yulia returned to the countries where they were studying, but they weren't happy this time because they were separate. As soon as they arrived at their place of residence, they contacted each other and set an appointment to meet in the French capital, Paris. None of the two thought of a relationship anymore, as Yulia was rejecting all the guys who approached her. The same goes for Stas, who was so excited to see Yulia, and he missed her so much. When the time came for the pair to meet in Paris, and as soon as they met, they hugged each other for a long time and took some pictures with the Eiffel Tower. There, Stas confessed his love for Yulia, took a ring out of his pocket, and offered to marry her. Then the young woman, who was happy, smiled and embraced him. The pair spent a wonderful evening in Paris, and the next day each returned to the university. And days later, each of them called their parents and told them that they decided to marry each other. The parents were very happy and agreed to allocate a tour for them on a luxury yacht in Crimea as they waited for their return to Russia and immediately transported them in a private plane to Crimea. The two men were with their wives and children, a moment they dreamed of at length, so they made sure that the two families spend an enjoyable journey. While the yacht was sailing in the depths of the sea and Stas and Yulia were sitting together under the beautiful sunlight, the young man decided to enter the kitchen inside the yacht to get a bottle of drink from there. When he got there, he approached a large refrigerator, which was filled with all kinds of food, in order to open it, but the floor was slippery because it was wet with water. As a result, Stas fell, and his leg collided with the refrigerator, and the refrigerator fell directly on his stomach and right leg. Then the young man remained trapped under the heavy refrigerator, and in pain, then began to scream at the top of his voice until she heard him. Yulia came running quickly and called to her father and the father of Stas. The three cooperated to remove the large refrigerator that had fallen on Stas to help him get up, but the young man was unable to get up and continued screaming in pain. The two families were forced to cut short their vacation and decided to return to Moscow, where Stas was transferred to one of the famous clinics in Moscow for treatment. There they told him that the young man suffered a fracture at the level of his spine and a fracture in his right leg, and that he may be able to stand on his feet in the future. The young man lay in the hospital, and Yulia was standing there next to him the whole time. Stas' father kept asking about the clinics that could treat his son, and he was willing to pay whatever money they asked for. After a lengthy search, they told him that there's a clinic in America that had previously treated many cases similar, so he decided to transfer his son there. Yulia didn't want to return to university to continue her studies, and decided to stay with Stas, who was in a very difficult psychological state, as she wanted to check on her condition before returning to Switzerland. The young woman traveled with her mother and Stas and his father to America, and there she rented a hotel room in New York. It's located near the clinic where her fiancé will be treated, and she kept visiting him every day and reassuring about him and her mother, while her father returned to Russia because he was involved in some work there. Stas had the first surgery, but it was not successful, and he had to stay in the clinic awaiting the second surgery. Yulia was sitting with him all the time, encouraging him and reassuring him that he would recover, while his mother was crying for a long time and preferred not to enter the room in which he was because she'd be unable to see him in that state. One day, Stas overheard two nurses talking about his condition while they were inside the room in which he was lying. One of the nurses who noticed that Stas was asleep However, he was, in fact, awake and heard her. She told her colleague that the doctors agreed that the young man's condition was hopeless and that she was surprised why his father spent so much money in the void. The young man, when he heard the nurse's words, was shocked and at that point began to think of suicide. After thinking long, he noticed that Yulia wastes her time by being with him 
because he'll remain handicapped throughout his life, in addition that she should return to her studies and start her life again. But the young woman refused and told him that she would not leave him until he's fine. The next day, Yulia came to visit Stas, sat near him, and grabbed him by his hands. But she was surprised by the latter pulling his hand and telling her that he did not love her, and he asked her to leave that clinic because he didn't want to see her again. The young woman was shocked when she heard this and left the hospital crying, and entered her hotel room and remained there, shocked and devastated. The young woman decided to return to Switzerland because the young man who loved her no longer wanted her. And after she brought her bag, she wants to know what he meant this day before and say goodbye to him before leaving. Yulia found that the young man was in a miserable condition and he was shedding tears, which affected her a lot. The young woman asked him if he really did not like her, but Stas did not speak and kept looking at her. Then the young woman picked up her bag and left. Stas stayed with his mother in that clinic. He collapsed and lost hope for a cure. Only the second and final operation remains, which will determine his fate. The day before the operation was due, the father of Stas came from Moscow to raise his son's spirits. He didn't stop supporting him, reassuring him that everything was fine. But the young man was sad all the time because the words he heard from the nurse made him completely lose hope in recovery. Stas didn't understand why his father was overly optimistic, who was assuring him that everything would be fine. And on that day the operation was scheduled, he approached and kissed him on the forehead and demanded that he be strong. The surgery lasted a full five hours, during which the medical surgical staff switched all their efforts when the operation ended. The doctor who supervised the operation went out and told the father of Stas that the operation was successful and that his son would be able to stand on his feet after a month at most. Stas' father waited until his son woke up from the coma, approached him and told him that the operation had been successful and that he would be able to stand on his feet within one month. The young man didn't believe his father's words and told him that he had heard a nurse say that the doctors confirmed there was no hope for his recovery. Then the father smiled and told him that he had personally moved to Germany and brought a surgeon from there. After the doctors at that clinic told him that there was no hope for his recovery and that the latter did not disappoint him, and he performed the surgery successfully. The young man regained hope in life and was relieved a lot when he knew that he would stand on his feet again, and he decided not to tell his fiancée about it and made sure that others did not do so. Stas began using crutches in the first days after the surgery, but after a month had passed, he got rid of them completely and started to stand on his feet and walk on them which is what pleased his parents and hugged him for a long time. Stas called Yulia and told her that the surgery he had had was not successful and that he was in a difficult psychological state, so he asked her to accept to marry him because it's the best gift that she can give him. The young woman immediately agreed to the offer of Stas, shedding tears, and told him that she was ready to marry him in all cases and that she would not give up on him no matter what. Yulia's father and Stas's father prepared all the wedding procedures and they invited their friends and relatives. While Yulia wore the white dress, adorned and waited the arrival of her fiancé, who came on a plane from America. The bride went out with her father and kept walking among the crowd in order to reach the car in which Stas came in. She was excited to see him. The two got out of the luxury car and then Stas got out of the car, stood on his feet, and then headed towards her. Yulia didn't believe what her eyes had seen, and she immediately rushed to the bosom of her beloved, whom she thought a few days ago she had lost forever. The young couple remained embracing each other amid the applause of the attendees, and then they went together to the altar where their marriage was ordained. Then they left in the luxurious car to their country house where they spent the most beautiful times, and there they settled and had children. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.